High school tennis is an extremely rich area for us to mine, as the potential is there to create a better experience for those already playing the game so that we can hold on to them as lifelong players. It's my pleasure to, to introduce Ron Marquez for our Q&A session. Ron is a fixture of tennis here in the San Diego area, both as a high school tennis coach and local volunteer for various professional events. His girls team have won six championships during his tenure. He is also the founder of San Diego High School World Team Tennis League. Please join me in welcoming Ron Marquez. And how do you use those competitions with the teams to really lure the, the kids to want to go further? In high school, it's awesome because, you know, in the teenage years, this is where boys and girls find themselves in each other and building relationships. So the social aspect of high school and, and the world team tennis is, is great because not only do they get to play their individual sport of tennis, but they get to do it in a social environment. And with high school world team, it's, it's more social and boys get to play on the same court as girls and vice versa and they get to play and it's all same on that court and no matter what. So it's, it's, it's a good teaching tool for our, for our teenagers to learn how to coexist on the court and uh, it's great socially too. So when you look out in the room and you want to give the advice to many coaches, many of the people here who may be high school coaches, what would you tell them to go back into their communities to start this format? Biggest thing I think is networking as well, like what we're all doing here. Uh, talk to other coaches that, are, that have the same passion, that have the same ideas. If you get together, that was, like I said, it started with five coaches for me uh, and, and support of the Barnes Center and to say, we can host you here, we can get you started. I think finding a group of people to start it, it, it'll grow because, again, teenagers like to be together and why not do it on the tennis court and have them play together and, and have fun that way too. Now you're in a unique situation here in San Diego where the weather is perfect <laughs> year round. That can be challenging for those of us back on the East Coast or Midwest or Northern states where you have to go indoors. So how do you motivate or how do, how do you suggest uh, these coaches to go back and try to utilize this year round when they have to go indoors and try to find courts? Time in courts, if you're limited, look for play days. You may not be able to do a whole season like we have the opportunity to do here, but maybe do festivals or open play days where, you know, with a world team format, it's great. One thing the coaches love about the world team format, it's only two hours, as opposed to high school matches here can last three to four hours. So with that limited time in the short format where you can have up to a dozen people play at one time, it, it's great to engage them and have that fun and they and you kind of tease them a little bit. It's like, you know, you get this for a little bit, it's like, oh, I want to come back and do this again. So I think, you know, if you're, you're limited on that, just make do with that and, you know, and put them all together for that short time and just kind of get them to enjoy it a little bit, get them hooked. And then they'll kind of still want to organize it on their own and kind of go from there. What is the percentage of your kids that may play national tournaments and then section and then just the local? In high school, I would say it's about 10% that play the national level. Uh, and it's great to have them there, but that's kind of the reason why we started the high school world team tennis too, is we have the 10% that play national, but what about the other 90%, you know, right. like we talked about in the video. Uh, and it's nice to see in the last three years too, that program, we've had a lot of new JV programs and novice programs in high school start up. So it's engaging that other 90% and keeping them hooked. That, that's been fun and enjoyable to see because we see, I'm starting to see in my program, a lot of new kids just popping up. I want to try, or I want to try. And, mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's great, especially with the um, world team. It's, we're a club, so we don't cut. We just want to give everybody an opportunity to play and kind of hook them from there. 